Good afternoon everyone, middle aged guy here. And today's goal was to buy a rifle for deer hunting season this year. Um, I've really wanted a 30-30 for quite a while. Um, I just like the lever action. So I managed to find one at a good price, I think. Um, usually, you know, last year they were running about five, five and change, almost 600 bucks, just for a basic uh, Marlin 3030. And the price has shot up. This year, I found them at Academy for 399. And then, of course, Dick said they would match their price, which they've already done. It's at 399 right now. And this is the 17th of February, 2018. Um, I also got a coupon uh, via email from them for $20 off. For President's Day, which um, he says that it, it does apply to the guns, and on top of that, I got another ten dollars off for um, accumulating what three hundred points. I think every three hundred points, I get a ten dollar Dick's Cash uh, thing kicked onto my account. So that's a total of thirty bucks off of the three ninety nine price. So you know, it should put it around three seventy plus tax, which is a good price. It's a really good price, I think. Um, and like I said, everywhere else for four hundred bucks. Um, Online, even at um, I usually I usually now this isn't an endorsement for them, but it's what I normally do. I'll usually buy a um, I've bought my guns or some of my guns from Bud's Gun Shop online and really great prices, and they have layaway. So <clears throat> even at Bud's, it's three ninety nine, three ninety five, three ninety nine. Same same thing. It's the same price. So um, I went in, got there earlier, uh, about forty five minutes ago. Um, and went to do the paperwork and of course um, you know because I have like one of the most generic names in all of history especially being in Texas um, they said that um, it was delayed so I'm waiting for them to call me back but when they call me back we'll do the unboxing and see what we got in there and all that other good stuff um, if anybody ever comments um, or has a question about this I think the average uh, Length between my deer blind and the feeder, the, the way we have the feeder set up, is roughly around 100 yards. So this 30-30 should be adequate. Um, I think the 30-30 should be really good for about 200 yards. I was looking at the ammo drop, and the ammo drop I think is at 200 yards. That should be good. So it's more than plenty for where I'm at. But anyways, looking forward to it. Keep my fingers crossed, um, and that they'll get it done today because I got a crap load of stuff to do tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday. On the upside though, he did say since that, that coupon's only good for, for Sunday, I believe, up to tomorrow because of the President's Day sale. He said that if they got it back like anytime next week, they would honor that $20 off, so, which is perfect, which is awesome on their part. So I'll check in with y'all um, and get up to date and do that unboxing. Um, have a great day, y'all, and peace. Guy here. I'm gonna do the unboxing to the Marlin 336W that I purchased. And a heads up, um, yeah, Dix did honor the $20 um, coupon I got in the mail plus another $10 I had in Dix Cash. So the total price was at $400.82, I believe, which is a, an awesome price. So the unboxing starts now. And here we are. Still got the sticker on it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Have here the owner's manual. Put that down here. Put this foam out of here. Set that over here, out of the way. This is the uh, trigger guard, I believe. Safety feature to keep it locked up. Let me take that out real quick. Yep, it is a mandatory safety lock. The headlock and lots of other stuff here, but we usually keep our stuff in a safe, so I think we're okay. And here is 
nice and packed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it out of the box. I'll be right back. All right, so right off the bat, um, the stock, really nice. I like it. The thing I don't like is the fact that the gun, yeah, it came like that, hammer pull back. I don't know why the hell they would do that. Um, either way, stock looks nice. The balloon looks really nice. Check out the side here. I'm gonna do right now is disengage the hammer just so it doesn't slam down on the firing pin and cause any damage. Let me do that real quick here too. One second. All right, got that situation fixed. Anyways, the stock is really nice. I'm really happy with this. I've been wanting one of these for years. Um, I was gonna try to get one a few years ago and the price on these shot up through the roof for a 3030, and this is like a base model 3030. They were running like out here in Texas, almost what? Close to 600 bucks. Um, and like I said, I managed to score it for four. Um, they're around 399 right now. And like I said, Dix does price match plus they honor the coupons on top of that. So it came out to a really, really sweet deal. Um, it does come already oh, with the sling attachments already done, pre mounted on both ends here, which is great. I don't have to add them on like I have to do my AR. Um, it's got the iron sights at the top. And it's got the pre-tapped holes there for a scope and still a lot, of, a lot of gun oil on there. I'll leave it the way it is for now. Put the safety back on. I guess that's why the handle was down. Anyways, um, so like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I'm kind of on the fence right now. I'm really thinking about putting... I kind of... I have a scope for it, but at the same time, I'd like to just maybe iron sighted if I go deer hunting but I don't know how effective that's going to be I'm going to take it to, to the range here and um, fire it like by itself with just the iron side to see how well I do if the accuracy is there you know within 100 yards or so I should be okay with just having it the way it is if not I'm going to have to put a scope on it and buy the mount and everything um, but I think they have the weaver um mounts for this thing at believe it or not at a walmart for under eight dollars and then it's just a matter of buying some rings and i have a scope and i think the rings that i saw were about 60 bucks also with the scope mount i'm gonna need to get the uh, extension here for the guard to be able to release the hammer i'm yeah the extension for the hammer i'm sorry to be able to release it when the scope's on it because there isn't enough clearance and they have that on Amazon and I just got through seeing it for like eight dollars so it's everything accessory wise on this is pretty affordable it really really is which is what, what the happiest the best part of it for me um, anything extra I might do on top of that I might get one of those little butt straps here for extra ammo and um, yeah that's about it I'm happy with everything else maybe just a, um, and I do have um, slings they have like two or three here um extra ones that i've had for a while and i just attach those and call it a day but yeah i wanted something like a brush gun like this like i said i have an ar that i usually go hog hunting with but i just need something a little simpler you know um don't get me wrong ar is fun it really is fun to shoot but um this has been as funny as it sounds a childhood dream of mine ever since my dad bought me that red rider when i was a kid and i did not shoot my eye out but anyways guys i appreciate y'all listening Appreciate everything so far. And um, thanks for listening. Any comments? Be happy to oblige. And um, yeah, we'll take care of this. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Take care. Middle East guys signing off. Have a good night. So, I'm trying to edit, and Freckles here decides he's going to um, join me. He can't sleep. I can't sleep either. Yep. You heard me right. His name is Freckles, the world's coolest dog. Good boy, buddy. Go lie down, okay? Go lie down. We'll go to bed in a minute. Go. You going to go potty? Yeah? You go outside? Okay. I'm going to let you outside. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Freckle says hi. <laughs>